Hello, my soul gamers. Time for another Corona update. <laughs> I'm very Italy, although we will be talking only a little about Italy this time around, but I'm already preparing for reviewing the Champions League games that happened yesterday that, uh, you know, don't have as much work when I do my round, my rewind video, round of video um, um, tomorrow for you. It's going so fast at the moment, uh, you cannot even keep track. Um, first of all, yesterday Real Sociedad uh, played finally against Eibar, got a win, was played behind closed doors. Uh, Spain is uh, playing the next two rounds behind closed doors as courtesy measure. Uh, we already know that Gladbach Köln will play be played behind closed doors. Um, it was also initially uh, thought that maybe Manchester City against Arsenal could be behind closed doors. That game has been cancelled and the reason for that I find quite remarkable um, that the Olympiakos owner um, Marinakis he has contracted coronavirus. He has been in London with Arsenal. So Arsenal, uh, should the Arsenal players now be put under quarantine? Uh, it is very fluid situation, but to be careful, they have uh, um, shut down that game. And in addition, um, Wolves is now refusing to go to Olympiakos. That's going to be interesting how that story will, will develop and even more Getafe is not going to travel to Milan because it's a no-go zone. Uh, so where will interplay that game? I think UEFA has to come out with a pretty uh, big statement on that very, very, very soon. You cannot delay much. You really cannot. So um, as I said, where will Juventus play their home game? I think uh, Inter is probably even more dangerous in that sense. Um, Spain, La Liga, Serie A, Liga also now be all behind closed doors. The Bundesliga all have taken measures. I think the Greek League is suspended as far as I know. Austrian League is uh, currently suspended, but uh, Swiss League for sure. Um, speaking of Austria, before I finish my center, uh, my thought process, um, the ice hockey championship has been cancelled. There will be no champion crowd. I think this is a very likely scenario for many leagues, potentially even the Europa and the Champions League. I honestly I don't see many more options on that. I think not all leagues are in the privileged situation as Austria where uh, you played uh, 22 games, everyone played everybody, so you would have actually a league table but you didn't quite finish it. Greece, I know, has that too. So, not sure. It might still say that it's a vacated championship, but let's take that. But where I wanted to go is um, the UK, the Premier League, at the moment is not very proactive, it seems, but I think it's down to government and government is also kind of <laughs> hanging in the balance. Um, I heard that a health minister in the UK has coronavirus, so uh, it's there too. So I would expect that the Premier League games will sooner or later be played behind closed doors if they're not going to get stopped. Um, that would be the one thing that could prevent Liverpool from getting the title this season. I don't. I just said it. I hope it won't, uh, that playing behind closed doors will suffice. Um, the bigger concern is the England-Italy game at Wembley. At the moment, this has not been cancelled. Uh, however, travelers from Italy need to be under 14 days quarantine, which means basically the Italian national team has to travel now. They could, because the Serie A is not playing, but uh, no, that's going to get cancelled, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to even spin it further. I think that most of the playoff games that we're going to see now, they're in serious danger. And this might be not the postponement of the leagues, but I actually think this could be a reason that Euro 2020 gets us, gets um, moved. Because how can you play if you don't have any... Uh, you don't even know the field. So that's interesting. To say the least, uh, it's not. A, and again, I repeat myself. I'm talking this because I'm a soccer fan. I totally understand that there are more important issues at the moment in the world that we have to take care of. 
and I totally understand the measures and if there are no champions so be it although I, as I said I would like the Austrian league to be cancelled so that Lusk is becoming champion already uh, although this will be with an asterisk or so for me if this was the case and even if the official don't have it for me they would be champions uh, so burn none but yeah move, moving forward I mean um, it seems like such an easy thing to say let's move Euro 2020 and uh, it's even Euro 2020 is really becoming an issue because you're playing all over I am actually thinking that um, yeah let's go to Russia and play there uh, because I think in Russia I, I haven't heard many things happening so far so and they would have the stadiums and probably the capacity so if you want to move to a single country that would be an alternative potentially let's see about that um but more importantly if moving it i heard the argument it's not that easy because we have a nations league final four come on please nations league final four euro 2020 moving <laughs> then the club world cup in china please please we don't need the tournament cancel the tournament i think all your european teams uefa should just say no to hell with the tournament honestly i'm it's going to be interesting days. My expectation is that most leagues that have been suspended will not play behind closed doors, will not have a champion. Um, I don't know what will happen with the Europa League. I think the Italian teams have to probably forfeit their um, rounds. Tough measure, but at the moment you cannot play in Italy unless the Italian teams can go under quarantine for 14 days outside somewhere and play on neutral side. I don't see any other solution except that the Italian teams have to forfeit their ties, and I think Inter is one of those, which probably might solve a little bit of Inter's problems. Uh, so that is one uh, thing that I expect, and I expect the international break to be cancelled and that potentially having an impact on. Euro 2020, I think we will see that Euro 2020 will probably not happen this year. Let's see. That's at least what I'm expecting. I even would expect the Olympics to be cancelled for this year and moved. Yeah, it's that serious. Um, that's for me, looking at the rating is not necessarily what I want, but hey. We have to see and we have to uh, stop the spread of this virus. I know everyone's going very crazy about this. I'm trying not to be too crazy about it, to be honest, but uh, better to stop it. Things will improve probably with the weather. Anyway, ah, the last story that was breaking yesterday, but I think it's a hoax. Um, Mbappe was feeling sick yesterday. He had himself tested on coronavirus. I have not seen any results, but probably he would not have. I don't think he has, in fact, um, contracted it because otherwise we would know by now and if that was to happen then I think the Dortmund PSG game would not happen tonight for sure not because then the whole PSG team is under quarantine that's another way of how you continue the course anyway give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, and yeah subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these um, I had the chance today to make this video in the morning and still post it Relatively soon, I'm not sure if I will have that tomorrow, but let's see how it goes. Anyway, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.